Hey everyone, this is John from Nevermore Antiques, and I hope you find yourself safe tonight. I hope you're tucked away inside your house, staying away from all of that garbage that's going on out in the world. I thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video with everything that's going on. Hopefully we can have a little fun, talk about some of the items that I sold, and maybe uh, we can just uh, be together for a little bit as a family, as a antique junk loving family. So the first item I'm going to talk to you about today, I actually sold, I have 20 items here. I've got like 80 items or something or 70 items. I can't remember exactly how many that I've sold over the past like two weeks. We've did about $1,700 in sales. Our sales are down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm a prepper and I've prepared for monetary issues. I've prepared for not having food and I knew one day that something would probably happen and it would affect my business so what I'm continuing to do is just list we're still selling I'm seeing a lot of sales come in and um, I'm gonna keep selling until they stop so I picked up this remember Gilead Gilead I don't know what it is but it's a remember Gilead hat um, I love those trucker style hats they're really cool I sold it for $12.71 with five dollars and thirty cents shipping right on top of that it's pretty cool I love those old trucker hats they just sell really well I love the three lines on them I love the colors that blue and white is really awesome the next item that I sold here was a set of American greetings Christmas decorations it's really weird they're selling in March but like they did so list that Christmas stuff all year you will make money on it all year long um, it's I sold it for $12.71. I probably had absolutely nothing in it because it came in a lot of Christmas stuff that I had bought. The next item that I have here is this W.E. Garrett & Sons. It's a tin of snuff and the snuff was still in it. And I don't think anyone's going to be using it because it is super old and probably really nasty. So I hope that uh, whoever bought it just wanted it for the tin. I only sold it for $7.61. It is below that $10 threshold, but I did sell it with shipping on top, and I'm kind of a sucker. I hate to see anything go to the landfill, so if it's something that I can say that has any historical significance, something from, you know, 50, 60 years ago, that stuff's getting harder and harder to find, and I don't want to be the guy that's tossing it into a landfill. I'd rather sell it and break even than just toss it, but I did make money on that because I sold it for 7 8 9 10 11 12 Yeah, I sold it for like... 12 13 bucks so I did okay on it here is a lot of cast iron utensils that I had bought I mean I bought them things forever ago those are actually uh, that was taken on the table outside of my house and it's probably been 18 months since I listed anything out there took pictures of it, stuff out there at least so uh, yeah that's pretty old so I'm glad to see that go I didn't really make much money on it but at least it found a new home and that is really cool here is a set of mud flaps. They're uh, GM mud flaps. Uh, probably um, they came in on the deal that I did earlier this year. A bunch of car parts that I bought for 150 bucks. Those car parts are still paying out. I sold them for $22.06. Free shipping. It probably cost about seven bucks to ship them. So still made money, and that's cool because that stuff's long been paid for. So the cool part about that, since it's all been paid for, this is all just pure profit. Here is a really neat uh, Keebler Snacks Elf advertising towel. These are from like the early 90s. These were brand new factory sealed. I actually borrowed that image off the internet so that I could show it out of the package. I didn't want to open it up and ruin it being new in the package. So I just found me an image. I know you're not supposed to do that, but that's one of the instances where I don't mind borrowing an image so that I can... Um, you know show somebody exactly what they're getting and they'll be happy with it it's kind of hard to sell something if people don't have an idea up here what it looks like and um, I never take an image if in the very rare circumstances that I do take an image I very rarely ever take an image from anyone who uh, has I never take an image from anyone who has an auction that's currently running or a listing that's currently running um, most of the time I will look on like worth point or something like that and find one that sold like 10 years ago and that's where that one came from. If you can tell, it still has it has the worth point watermark in the corner down there. So that's where I got it from. Figured if you pay thirty dollars a month for worth point, you can borrow a picture once or twice a year. Here is an Iowa Iowa. That's an AM/FM cassette player. Really cool. I bought it. 
I didn't know if it worked. I paid five dollars for it in a box of junk, and I that's what I wanted. I sold it for twenty, and I did have to put a little deoxid five in there to get the volume working on it. It worked perfectly fine, and um, yeah, so it worked really well. And now I'm all paranoid that my OBS isn't because this is the second time I made this video and I'm worried that I am not uh, doing it right because I uploaded it somebody messaged me and they're like hey your videos messed up I'm like okay I'll just go reshoot it real quick so this is my second attempt at doing this but I sold that for 1951 uh, made a little bit of money on it I'm pretty happy with it here these next three picture lots here are all uh, photo lots from the Kirkwood School District in St. Louis there are girl sports. Uh, the lady that I bought this stuff from was uh, she had she is deceased now, but she was a high school teacher, and she did uh, girls uh, field hockey, basketball, and uh, gymnastics. And you can see here that there's all kinds of gymnastics stuff in here. That's a cool one. That was there's some really cool pictures in here, playing basketball, and then. Uh, Here's some pictures of some of these girls like doing gymnastics and whatnot. Kind of cool stuff. <clears throat> Absolutely liked it. Sold them all to the same guy and they did not go to Kirkwood. So I don't know what the guy wants with them, but I figure that maybe he knew somebody that went to school during that time. Uh, here is a Nintendo NES game console uh, with Super Mario and Duck Hunt. It came with a controller. I did not include a zapper gun. The unit itself was pretty spotless. It was missing the little gray uh, case off the bottom, the little piece off the bottom. I can't stop touching my face, guys. You're not supposed to touch your face, and I just can't help but touch my face. It's, uh, it's horrible. <clears throat> and um, but I do have my bottle of Germex that I take with me everywhere, so I just try to keep my hands clean. Um, and I'm inside my store, so there ain't nobody been in here and going on a week and a half. <laughs> We've been shut down all week. Um, but anyways, back to the video. Um, I cleaned it up and did not have the power pack or the, the everything else to test it so I just sold it as is I figured if somebody wanted it see now I'm touching my face all the time I'm a weirdo guys uh, I figured if somebody wanted it they could fix it or whatever they sold it for thirty dollars in shipping here is a doorknob I bought these for three bucks and I sold them for sixteen ninety six five thirty shipping on top it worked out really well now my nose is itching and um here is a pair of men's pants. I sold them for $21.21 with shipping on top. There is a double, they're double pleat pants, brand new with tags. Um, still had all the tags on them and stuff. Whenever you're out and about, if you go to yard sales and stuff, always be looking for tag pants. Clothing with still with the tags on it, especially if you can pick it up. <sighs> Sorry guys, for next to nothing. <coughs> <laughs> next to nothing and um, you can possibly uh, score on those and make a really good money their traffic is loud outside uh, the next item that I have here are these really cool polymetric jump basketball training shoes they're for building up your calves you walk around on your tippy toes and it gives you that calf strength so that you can dunk and I don't know whatever else you need to have big calves for when you're playing basketball pretty cool um, I paid ten dollars for those. Bought them at a um, bought them at Goodwill. They were twenty dollars. I paid ten dollars for them because they were half price. I sold over forty two forty six with shipping on top, which was super nice because those were huge. I think they're like what size were they? They were like size oh, nine nine and a half. So they weren't that huge. I was thinking they were like really big, but they just seem big because they have those big goofy platforms on the front of them. But if you find them. They'll range anywhere between $35 to $100 and some dollars if you find them in like new with the box and everything. Here we go. I got an autographed picture of Marty Stewart. For some reason, he autographed the back of it. If you don't like Marty Stewart, we can't be friends. I'm sorry about that. But, um, so, yeah, sorry about that. But we just can't. I love Marty. He's he's my guy. Um, sold it for $12.71, uh, $4.60 shipping and handling. Um my wife, my wife put, excuse me, my wife put writing on the back, started trying to speak another language there, put writing on the back, and uh, I don't know why she didn't put sign, because it's signed by Marty Stewart. So, let's go to the next item here. I got this vintage black gold tone Monet. I bought a whole ton of this autographed Monet 
and Trafari and tons of jewelry because I sell a lot of it out of the store here. And I bought a ton of this jewelry. It's actually black. This is a better picture. Um, black enamel and it's just absolutely gorgeous whenever you buy this jewelry a lot of times it'll be signed and if you look here on the clasp it says Monet and then it says Monet right there on the actual on a, one of the links of the jewelry um, I paid three dollars for this I sold it for forty two forty six that is absolutely insane uh, the next item that we have here is an OEM door hinge it is really uh, it was brand new another one of the items that came in uh, from that auto parts buy that is saving my tail it's saving my butt I all of these car parts I sell so much of them and I just make so much money off of them here is another car part an outside door handle off of uh, Caprice Buick Regal Cutlass um, super cool 1271 I didn't make a ton off of it I probably it, it was done paid for, so it probably cost about $4 to ship, but I still made money. So it was just a part that if someone can use it, once again, I could I could have threw it away and said, ah, I don't need to make 6 bucks on it. But somebody needed that part for their car, and I'm definitely glad that they got it. Here is a bunch of Girl Scout patches. They're from like 1981, 82. And again, stuff that I've had listed forever, red background, um, sold them for $8.46. They probably shipped for like $3.33 or something like that. They shipped out. Um, I hate selling stuff like that, but then again, I hate throwing it away. I'll take 5 bucks for it. I'll list it. It probably was listed for, um, it's probably listed for more than a year. So if you think about needing, I mean, you can look at it one of two ways, like either I paid 10 cents a month to list it for probably 18 months, which would be a dollar 80. So did I really make a lot off of it? Or you could look at it this way and say, well, I had to have at least a thousand listings, or I would be burning listings that I couldn't. Uh, I would be burning listings that I could have used but didn't. And eventually it sold, so whatever. It found a new home. I overanalyze this stuff. If you guys haven't realized that yet, is that I definitely way overanalyze everything. Um, the last item that I have here to show you guys is this Boomsma Egg 1950s Industrial Metal Wire Nest Best Egg Crate. I don't know. I just copied somebody else's title. I found it on WorthPoint. I sold it for $59.46, charged $22.94 for shipping and handling. I think they actually paid more like $30 to have it shipped. And um, it was an absolutely neat little find. I bought it for $20 and I flipped it. And um, I definitely think that whoever got it probably really knew what it was worth because I think it might have been worth a little bit more than what I sold it for. But I'm just glad that it found a good home. And those are the 20 items that I have sold. And um, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know there's a lot on our minds right now. I'm going to switch screens here real quick. Um, I'm going to switch over to my video here. I know there's a lot on our minds right now. I know there's a lot of uncertainty out in the world. And I just want to tell you guys that we are going to get past this. This is nothing that um, is going to destroy our livelihoods. I believe that things might get tough for a little bit, but in the end, the people who um, work hard, they will definitely be able to overcome any obstacles. We've got a great president. We've got great leadership on both sides of the aisle. Um, if they can get together and work, then we will be able to produce some kind of relief stimulus package and hopefully it'll put a little bit of money in people's pockets hopefully it's time two months from now this is all behind us and we are back to selling like normal and that bell means that this video is over so I appreciate you guys watching and if you're still here and that bell hasn't ran you off I really appreciate you I hope that you would go down and hit that subscribe button maybe tickle the notification bell so that you know when we put up new content and when we go live um, I love you guys. I've been praying for so many of you out there. I've been praying for the community as a whole. I've been praying for the world as a whole. And if you need anything, I'm here for you. If you get scared, if you want to talk to somebody, you're not alone. I'm here. You can reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook. You can message me at showmepickers79 at gmail.com. 79. It's a weird number. It's a year I was born. Um, somebody else was already show me pickers. so how about that? You know? So I just want you guys to know that I'm here for you. Reach out to me. We can talk. We can get in a private hangout. 
and whatever you need um, I can listen and I do appreciate you guys for listening to me it's the least I can do I don't have a whole lot going on right now I am sorting my death pile in the back so that's what I'm kinda doing anyways appreciate you guys keep on digging keep on picking God bless you guys and remember the family that picks together sticks together <laughs>